Both Carrie and I believe that she's making found us. Um, the Screamery was in distress in 2002 and on the verge of closure. And we were going to open a wine bar, and of course we needed cheese for that wine bar. In the process, we found the Rogue Creamery, and its owner, uh, Igvella, proposed that we buy it and make the cheese uh, for our wine bar. Uh, well, uh, to make a long story short, we gave up the wine bar concept, and now we're making cheese every day here at Rogue Creamery. I never thought that I would uh, make cheese in my life. When I was a microbiology student, when we made yogurt, I was cranky. Why am I making food? I want to save the world. I want to save people. I want to cure diseases. Rogue Creamery was founded in 1928 by a cooperative here in Central Point called the Rogue River Valley Creamery. And in 1935, it was sold to Tom Vella on a handshake. And Tom Vella was backed by J.L. Kraft. J.L. Kraft actually helped him finance the acquisition of this creamery and also allowed him to finance startup dairies to supply this creamery milk. We took over the creamery uh, a little over five years ago uh, from Ignacio Bella, uh, who still works with us as a master cheese maker. We came into it as you know, a blank slate, but it was really a blank slate standing on the shoulders of giants. Our milk is from a dairy, just a stone's throw from our door, called Roadview Dairy. Our cows graze on the Rogue River every day. The milk is certified, sustainable, is pure, without any additives, hormones, or antibiotics. You know, our mantra is sustainability. We balance that with handmade. We very much value handmade, and they're often kind of conflicting in a way, in the sense of, you know, it's much more sustainable economically to automate, and yet it doesn't have the, kind of the tradition, it doesn't have the, the human touch to it, which is very important. We are dedicated to the art and tradition of making our cheese inspired by old world recipes, but certainly with new world nuances. It was really exciting coming into cheese making as an absolute um, blank slate because we had no preconceived notions of what you're supposed to do. It's basically tradition and the tradition of innovation. A lot of people think that tradition means static and it doesn't. You know, we kind of glorify the French for making traditional cheeses and yet when you look at the history of French cheeses, it's all about innovation and adjusting to the times and adjusting to what's available. Uh, we, we take that into account that you, know, you don't need to do things exactly the way they were done before. You can create new things. Mm -hmm.